Hello, underachievers. Underachievers. So I love TikTok, and I am also trans, which could do without that. So pretty simple. I just decided to react to trans TikToks. You guys sent me in TikToks of people who are trans talking about trans things, which I haven't made a trans video in a while. It's actually been 22 days. A while is not that long when I post twice a week, but I thought this would be fun. I don't find many things funny. Unless they're not funny. I find things that aren't funny funny, and I don't find funny things funny. I don't like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I don't like The Office. I just don't find it funny. So if I don't find these funny, don't take it as like an insult. I just, there's something wrong with my brain. And obviously this isn't a trans cringe reaction, although I could react to them and we can see what that's like again. But um, it's not a trans cringe reaction. I'm sorry if I cringe. It's I'm not trying to be mean. I just, I just want, it's my authentic reaction if I cringe. So I'm sorry. So let's... React! This one relate. If I had a beat, I would meet it. Even old New York was once New Amsterdam. Why'd they change it? I can't say. People just liked it better that way. So take me back to concert. No, no, I can't go back to concert. No, boy, take me back to I love this audio. If you can't tell, I sung that myself. I had to do it. Because otherwise, YouTube would be like, Hey, let me grab that copyright from you. I feel like grandmas have, like, the weirdest reaction to people coming out as trans. Like, my nan's lovely. She's so lovely. But the Christmas I came out, she signed my Christmas card as Noah slash my birth name. And I was like, you legally, the birth name is not my name anymore. Which I explained to her, and that was fine. It was, she was just an innocent mistake. A flying ant just landed on my finger. Oh dear. I would never date a trans guy. I don't know how to react to that. Should I reaction? Congratulations, you said you would not date a trans guy and now you date a trans guy. There's not much I can say about that. POV, you make fun of the trans boy in the locker room. Really, I would rather be a homo by myself and not in this room with people who don't even care about my well-being. I know that. Don't ask. I don't need a boyfriend. I, d I don't know the words. I thought there'd be more to this TikTok. He just trying to look tough and then singing at the camera who supposedly is the bully? But he's got lightsabers in the background. <laughs> Maybe they're not bullying you because you're trans. Maybe it's because you have lightsabers. Is that rude? Am I being mean? This is a joke. Do you like Star Wars? I've never watched Star Wars. I feel like there's a lot of TikToks of trans guys like trying to be tough. Um, which, okay. Fine. C can't relate. What'll it be, fellas? Mustard? Emo? <laughs> Emo and Hawaiian shirt I vibe with. Oh. So this is a cruel joke, a cruel, mean thing to laugh at. I'm. G how would you feel if you were being laughed at? I'm gonna laugh at you right now. Ha ha ha, ha ha. Hawaiian shirts. I don't care. I think Hawaiian shirts look cool, and I clearly, clearly, clearly have not left the emo phase. I'm proud to say that I'm re-entering my emo phase. <laughs> I need my uh -huh. discord to him. Him patiently listening. <laughs> oh. This is nice. I thought this was gonna be like, you know the ones where they're like, oh, I'm so cute. It's cute audio. And then like, boom, boom. And then suddenly it's like, scary audio. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. I didn't think it'd be wholesome. Good, uh, thank you, boyfriend. Although, this is expected. You should respect trans people. You are not deserving of applause, but I will give it to you anyway. My mum, relieved that she finally gave birth to a girl. Me, a non-binary pagan witch with depression and anxiety who is a weeb and wants to write poems for a living. I support this. Oh, dang, you bargain. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Good. Give that a like, Eden Worm. When she asks to hook up, but she doesn't know you're trans. I just got a trans chat. Sure My body too. I like that. He's hot. You are hot, Destefano228. So I'm trans and my mom is hella supportive. But sometimes she's a little too supportive. 
because she'll take me shopping for clothes. Let's have a guess. Why is she too supportive? My guess is she buys him Packers. Sorry, I just had my brain just went back. Sorry, I just had my brain just went back to the time where my dad bought me a Gay Times magazine with like a shirtless gay man on it. He was like, saw it. Thought you'd like it. I did like it. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> but, um, what? Why is she oversupported? Shopping for clothes, but every time we go shopping for clothes, she always turns to the usually male assistant helping me find clothes and says, "This is my son. He's trans, which means he doesn't have a penis." I love the I love the harmonizing things. Do people really do that? Well, I, yeah, they definitely absolutely do, actually. Yeah, they definitely absolutely do, actually. I've heard stories of this happening to my friends. Not the, not the penis part, but just the part where they're like, Here's my friend, he is trans. He has tits. Okay, I just... I have to get this off my chest real quick, okay? I am so sick of the war between true scums and too cutes. That's not what the real beef is in the trans community. It just isn't. I approve another gay stoner. I agree. The real beef is between the rat trans and the reptiles. The reptile, the snakes. They got snakes and they have lizards. We don't support yeah, of course we support that. Although, look, I'm not hmm, unpopular opinion. I just think like snakes in a in a in a in a little glass aquarium, not an aquarium, what's it called? You know a little you know a little glass a little, a little bit, a little, little, some glass, and what's it called? Aquarium. Just gonna go to the aquarium, you know what I'm talking about? The snake, some people put snakes in glass aquariums where the snake can't completely, like, elongate its body. Imagine if you were, like, stuck, just, like, in an aquarium that was, like, half the length of your body and you had to be, like, this all the time. I feel like that would suck. So that's why I find it weird when people have snakes as pets. You're not giving them enough space. Like, my rats, I'm a rat. I'm the rat kind. I'm the rat kind. My rats, their cage can fit 12 rats, and there's three of them in there. They have three stories. They are living life. Hell yeah. And I had a poppin' ass pussy, bitch. <laughs> I like this. Mitchell, Mitchell Pierce, I'm following you. I find that funny. Probably like four years ago, I would have been like, Clearly this guy doesn't have dysphoria because he talked about having a pussy, even though he's literally, he has a beard. This guy has a beard. He is just not insecure. And I feel like I've kind of reached a similar point where I'm like, yeah, I had tits. These are my tits. Then I, I don't have them anymore. I call them tits. It's nice to reach that level of non-insecurity as a trans person. You will get there at some point. Oh, by the way, I'm trans. You want to be a woman? Ah, I know these people. Not personally. I'm friends with one on Facebook. I know it's Fox. Is that Lewis? Do I look like I want to be a woman? You want to wear ladies clothing? You're a lady? I call you she. Should I call you she? Yeah? Do you know what? You're right, yeah. I'm becoming a woman. <laughs> Easier for a man to say. <laughs> That's funny. I've gotten that a lot. There's there's a lot of people that um, decide not to like me. And when I say decide not to like me, they are doing that entirely on their own free will. I have not done anything to them, but they're like, Oh, you will never be a real woman. You're clearly a man. That deep voice, that flat chest, you clearly, you have a big penis, they say. They don't say that. But they're like, yeah, you know, you sound like a man. You'll always be a man. And I'm like, yeah, I will. But you're not saying what you think you're saying. You think I'm a trans woman, as in I was born a guy, which is like a big compliment, so thank you. Hi, guys. Hey. Hello, Connor Jackson. I know Connor Jackson. He comes to meetups. I'm just gonna put this here. Connor Jackson. Where's my binder? Trans flag on his wall. Comparison pictures. Caden, Aiden, Sam. Makes TikToks to take. Oh, okay. Mood. <laughs> Alex Calvin Tyler. Okay. Oh my god, I get it now. You get what? You know when things heat up, they expand? And? I'm not fat. I'm hot. <laughs> That's good. I'm not fat. I'm hot. Oh my god, sorry. Go away, f f fly. Not fly. Ant. Flying ant. <laughs> Okay, that's some mood. I sometimes, if you don't know what this means, pretty much trans people who wear binders, um, sometimes they don't want the material of their shirt to be sticking to the binder because it makes you look less, makes you look less flat. So a lot of the time you just instinctively do this to try and make it look more flatter and not up against the chest. Um, <laughs> I did that all the time and I still sometimes find myself doing it for no reason. It's just like, it's part of my behavior now. What if this this lady, this woman of the vagina type, oh. she, what if she dressed 
as a man. So, so they're a transgender man? How, how wild would that be? You know, that's never happened in the history of humanity and society. That, that, that exists. No, no. So she's so woman. She wants to be this mad. So, so she takes the well, woman's I leg and she starts licking it. Licking the the knee. The knee? Licking the, specifically the knee are you, of the are you leg. Tell me every single man likes to like, like, lick the knee? The knee of the leg. I'm not gonna react to this. I'm just gonna put this full screen so you can just enjoy it. Leg. That, not me! Every man like No, I'm a man, every I don't man like lick the knee. I'm the director. I'm the director. Are you the director? She's. She. <laughs> I should say he. But by the way, she's very lesbian. It's the same. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Who's the director? She has doubles. She must flatten them to her very bones. Wind it up the tape. Winds it up the tank. You don't know what I'm talking about because you're not a queer. But you don't get it, you don't get it. She puts on this lovely grey scarf. To Just what the f you're the one with the fing grey. No, no, oh, oh, man, I have a grey scarf. That was incredible. I love that. That was so good. So some trans men find it really hard to be able to afford packers. Uh I suggest Walmart. I got this for free. <laughs> it works very well. No. Very well. No. Um no! <laughs> this dude's gonna put a lizard in his pants. Dude! Corey? Huh? What are you doing? Going downstairs, what are you doing? Oh, uh, you're just filming. You just closed the door, and I thought I would hear you going down the stairs, but you just closed it and didn't hear your feet, which means you just closed the door and just stood outside of it. I was on my phone going down the stairs. Species. What is are you disrespectful? You move my light! <laughs> it's fine, I'm finished reacting anyway. It's so hot in here. Yeah, it's boiling. By the way, if I'm sweating, it's because it's warm and Cory confirms. Goodbye! Bye. So that was the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day or don't. See you later, losers. Show me TikToks. Show me good TikToks. Drop your TikTok. Drop your TikTok in the comments. Drop your TikTok. Drop your TikTok. Drop your TikTok. That sounds great. I should write music.